Welcome to Taylor Realty. If you know anything about us, you know that we take customer service very seriously. We know that when customer service is played well, it's a symphony to the ears and produces top line ticket sales. And we believe you're just the person to add to our orchestra. We held a meeting a year ago and asked 100 business owners how many of their customers would rate their services outstanding. 85% of them raised their hands. Then we asked them to survey their clients and get back to us. The results were alarming. How many customers believe they deliver outstanding customer service? No. When asked how many customers believe that they deliver good customer service, only 15% of their customers rated their service as good. We believe there are a lot of reasons this disconnect occurs and we'd like to spend a little time on this today. First, we know that only one in 12 will tell you if they're upset and only if they're really, really angry. That means if you get one customer complaint, there are probably 11 others who didn't say anything, but also who won't refer you, or worse, they've shared it with others. The average number of people that an unhappy client shares their experience with is between eight to 20. On average, second level connections will share that experience eight more times. Let me tell you a little story about Tony. Tony owns a business next to a Kobe Steakhouse that recently opened. He gave it a week to iron out the wrinkles, went for dinner, had a terrible experience. The food he didn't like, the service wasn't up to par. Then he went back to his little store across the street and clients started to come in that next week. Now, Tony clearly told a lot more than eight or 20 people. But those people that did come in, what do you think happened when they heard about Tony's experience? Well, they trusted Tony. So they trusted his word that this was not a good restaurant to go to. Why would they waste their money when there's so many other great restaurants around? But what do you think happened when they went to go mow their lawn that weekend? They're out talking to the neighbor. The neighbor said, hey, did you hear about that new restaurant that opened downtown? Oh yeah, they said. I was just talking to Tony. He said they were overpriced and the food wasn't good. It's such an easy conversation to have and we underestimate how much word of mouth and referrals affect our business. One thing that's really important when you're a business owner is to remember that every customer is important. That one in 2006 could affect 64 of your potential clients. Today, in 2016, word of mouth has completely changed. We know that one bad review can affect an average of 480 people. Now, if it's a share-worthy conversation, these conversations can reach as high as the millions of potential clients. But minimally, if the 480 people only told two people in the same manner as was the case with the Kobe Steak Restaurant, that's almost a thousand potential customers who could be affected, whose minds could be changed. So how do you deal with this angry customer? Well, here's a couple quick steps. First, have a routine. It's important to have a routine around checking social media regularly, especially as millennials become a bigger part of our market. The influence of social media will continue to be more important. Respond appropriately. Respond quickly. Respond apologetically and sincerely. Make time to fix the situation. Let them know. This is not what we stand for. This is not what I believe in. We never want a customer to have a bad experience. I'm going to reach out to you personally and see how we can fix this. And lastly, eliminate emotion and assume he or she is right. Listen, we know sometimes this was the absolute worst customer you've ever dealt with. Unfortunately, you need to keep a smile on your face 
And remember that you can't win in this situation. All you can do is make it better. Arguing with a client will only make your client angrier. You can never, never win. So trying to win will only exasperate the problem. Here's a few steps to make this conversation easier. First, we don't predict you'll encounter these situations at Taylor Realty Group, but if you do, here's a great tool to help you stay calm. You may have heard of this acronym before. Heard? Get it? <laughs> we believe sticking to it in times of stress will only make your job easier and help you diffuse any situations. So hear, hear what they're saying. Let them know that you're understanding. Listen, they most times an upset customer just wants to be heard. Empathize with them. Tell them that you understand how they feel. You're sorry and you understand that things did not go the way that they wanted. And then apologize. Make sure that they understand that you are sorry no matter what the situation is, maybe you're only sorry that they're upset, or maybe you're only sorry that you have to apologize for something that was completely their fault. We know that not everybody thinks rationally, but by you thinking rationally in tough situations, you'll always win. So make sure to apologize. Resolve. You know, sometimes there's, you can't make everyone happy comes to mind. Well, what we can do is we can do the best to resolve the situation, fix what we can, resolve to hear them better, resolve in some way to make this situation and communication better. So this is an opportunity for you to do whatever we can within reason, partner with the business owner and use your best judgment to really resolve any situation that involves an upset client. If you can fix it, fix it. And lastly, diagnose. Many businesses stop at here. We really want to make sure that you stop at the D, heard, by taking a couple minutes and asking, what was it that triggered this response? What was it in our symphony that was out of tune? You'll make better decisions later and with future clients and it'll eliminate the need to ever have to use this acronym again. Most importantly, when you're talking to someone on the phone, always use their name. Mr. Jones, I definitely understand why you're upset. I'll do whatever I can to help Mr. Jones. And this applies when you're using it for good reasons to use their name. Oh, I'm so happy to hear from you again, Mary or Mrs. Jones, whatever you prefer to call them or they prefer to be called. Again, chances are you'll never encounter a problem like this with Taylor Realty Group. We share it because we want you to know how to handle it. Just like an orchestra, how we work together dictates the impression our clients have about us, about our team, and about Taylor Realty Group. Knowing what's important to our customers is a pivotal piece of delivering a satisfying performance. So let's dig in and find out what do customers really care about. In a recent study, the top five customer concerns, or what they care about the most, rated like this, reliability, responsiveness, assurance, empathy, and tangibles, which we'll dig into after. Reliability is the cornerstone of what every business wants to model themselves after. They want to be trusted, and that's what's going to build great referrals. Let's dig into each one of these individually, and then we'll talk about why they're important and how they affect us. So reliability and trust was the first one. So your customer is asking, do I feel like I'm in good hands? Do I trust this business is going to protect me? Are they credible? What is their online credibility? Might be one of the questions. So let's talk about reliability. Here are a couple things that you can do to make sure that you always answer that call for our customers. Just do it. 
Nike said it, we're repeating it. Just do it. If you say you're going to do it, do it. Get it done. And if you don't do it, apologize and respond quickly to that. Make sure that you have strong communication. And listen, everyone communicates differently. There are going to be people that you struggle to communicate with. And when that happens, take a breath. Push mute. Call back. Step away for a second. And think about what do they need from you? What do they need you to deliver? In what way do they need you to deliver in it that will build reliability and trust for them? Be accurate. Make sure that your information, your reports, whatever you deliver are accurate and timely. And be sincere and transparent. Don't try to yes someone to death. Tell the truth. Let them see you. Don't try to be who you think they want you to be. Just be you. Be sincere and open and that trust will shine through. For the customers, and for future customers. And most importantly, when you're yourself, it feels best for you. Responsiveness. This is when your customer is asking, will they be quick? How important am I the to them? Do they value in my time? How do they rate in relationship to other businesses? People are in a hurry these days, so responsiveness is growing and growing in importance. Was that report sent in on time? Was a listing presented quick enough? Was a paperwork done fast enough? Did I lose out on something because the company that I'm working with was too slow? Here's a couple ways to make sure that you're delivering on responsiveness for your customers. First, respond quickly. Don't leave emails to tomorrow. Respond to an email by the end of business and hopefully even sooner. If it's from a customer, it, de it deserves to be at the top of your list. Set specific follow through and follow up timelines. If you say you're going to respond by tomorrow, respond by tomorrow. If people understand what your timelines are, if it's going to take a week, Communicate that to them because communicating what the timeline is will deter them from believing that you're late or not timely. Great communication is key in every level of customer service, especially res with responsiveness. And lastly, understand their feelings and their expectations. How do they feel you are responding to them? Do they feel that you're quick enough? What is their expectation? Sometimes while you're on the phone with a customer, it's great to say, hey, I'll have that to you by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Will that work for you? Because by understanding how they feel, you're gonna solve a lot of problems before they even begin. Third is assurance. They want to understand quality. Do they know what they're doing? What are the legal ramifications if the, you don't do your job? They're asking, what are your qualifications? Well, we know that you're qualified, but how do you share that with your clients? Assurance and quality can be critical to large transactions, especially life-changing transactions, which is what we work with here. Here are a few golden rules. First, the most common mistake we see, making up an answer. It's okay to not know the answer. No one has all the answers. It's better to say, I don't know. I don't wanna guess because at TRG, we pride ourselves on quality. Let me get that answer for you and I'll get right back to you. So step one is, you don't have to know everything. You have to be able to get the right answer. Second, be comfortable sharing your qualifications, our qualifications, post degrees and awards. Be sure to talk about Taylor Realty Group's traditions around excellence and share our passion around excellence. All of these will help deliver a level of trust and quality that's important to all customers. And lastly, communicate how important doing it right is for you and the entire agency. When customers know that you're committed to doing it right, it makes a big difference 
it gives them that assurance that they need that they're in the right hands. The fourth most important thing to customers is empathy, which is really caring about customers as much as you do the sale. So they might be asking, do they really have my best interest in mind? If it was between my best interest and the sale, what would they choose? They may be intrigued about what other customers are saying about you, how you've helped others. What is your reputation? So how do you share empathy? How do you let those customers know that you care about them more than the sale? Well, the first one is easy. Common courtesies, eye contact, undivided attention, really just stopping and paying attention. Come on, you know there is nothing worse than being on the phone with someone and hearing while you're talking. You know they're multitasking and typing away. Stop, pause, and really listen and give your undivided attention. Tell them you care. So many people forget to just do something as simple as saying, you know, I care. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear how you feel. So make sure that you're telling them how much you care. And how you deliver shows to your customers that you really care. Doing something very simple about like saying, how do you prefer to be contacted? And making a note in a file. So when something comes up, if they prefer text, that you text. If they prefer a phone call or email, that's how you respond. Taking the time to know what they need and what they want are the little things that you can do to make a big difference in customer service. The last thing that came up on that survey, and this is a tangible piece, was looking sharp. This is a service industry. It's important that you look sharp and present yourself well. They're gonna ask questions like, does everyone look professional? Are they detail oriented? Is their communication appropriate? So how do you look sharp? What does this tangible look like? Customers are telling us it starts with dress code, believe it or not. If you have uniforms, does everybody have clean, neat, presented uniforms? Do they act professionally when they're around you? Are they clean? Do they have clean fingernails, quaffed hair? Do they smell good? Simple little things. Are they wrinkled? All way into dress code. And at Taylor Realty Group, you're working with people who expect professionalism. So make sure that you always put your best foot forward. And how do you do that as well? By smiling. Smiling is the number one accessory to a great dress code, and it makes the biggest difference to our clients. And lastly, your desk area and any paperwork or emails that you send out. Professionalism needs to start, especially in a legal environment where the stakes are so high. People want to know that you're organized, that you're not going to lose their file. A messy desk gives a wrong impression when somebody comes in. So make sure that you're always delivering a nice, tight, clean work area that your customers can see that you're well presented, well organized, and that your paperwork is neat and clean. I'll tell you a quick story about a client who came to me. It was actually, I was the seller and the realtor who sold, the pro sold my property had clients who, sh who she showed the house and when she wrote up the agreement, she wrote it in pen and there were scribbles all over it and they signed it. And do you know that those clients were loved the house but were so unsure of their realtor that they actually tried to get another realtor to represent them because she didn't come across as professional enough the way that she did the paperwork and they were worried that she wouldn't have their best interests at heart. They ended up paying their attorney more money to get involved in that closing. We never want something like that to happen with your customers. And why is it so important? You know, customer service is the past, present, and future of your organization. Those that you helped in the past 
are helping us today and bringing us clients today, but also those that we help today are going to be our referrals of the future. A happy customer can mean anywhere from five to 50 clients. And they don't just affect today or a year from now. They affect us for the long term, 10 years, 20 years. So our referral business and our organization is really built on having a happy customer at the center of it all. Don't underestimate your impact. One person can make a huge difference. Think about the last time you went out to a restaurant or a store and you had a bad experience. Chances are it wasn't the entire organization that didn't deliver for you. It was one person who made your experience bad. And chances are you judged the entire organization on that one person. Just know that you're that one person. We all are, and it takes all of us working together to make a difference. You make a difference, and that's why you are hired. That's why you are one of the most important pieces of the Taylor Realty Group. Together, we can make beautiful music. It's by working together, organizing our time and our efforts together that really make an experience that customers can sing about. Thank you for being part of our group and we look forward to working with you to deliver the best service for our clients.